Hey guys, I'm Justin with CBI Off-Road and Prinsu. Today we're working on a 2021 RAV4. This is the fifth generation and we're putting a roof rack on. So we'll show you how to install it. All right, so the first step I would recommend is just unpack everything and just make sure you got it all. Your cross pieces, side rails, wind deflector, noise reducing trim if you ordered it, and your hardware over here. Um, this kit's going to have some plus nuts in it, so you want to double check that. Loctite, and just make sure you got everything, and then we'll get to the car. All right, so we're at the vehicle, and we're going to start by removing these two plastic um, access points. And they're going to reveal two bolts underneath each one. So one's a 10 millimeter, one's a 12. So we'll go ahead and remove the 10 millimeters. That'll allow us to pull this piece off. The 12, we're going to have to lower the headliner to get access to the underside to hold it with a wrench. Um, since we're dropping the headliner and everything, we recommend disconnecting the battery just because there's a lot of electrical components that we don't want to damage. Um, that was a ton of talking. Let's get to work now. Okay, so next step, we're inside the vehicle and we got a few things to remove to get the headliner down enough to get our hands in there to access that bolt. So we're not gonna do a full um, headliner drop. We're just gonna peel it back enough just so we can reach those bolts. So to do that, we'll need to take this visor off and the hardware with it. Um, this A pillar will need to come back slightly. Uh, this handle will need to come down and we'll need to peel back the B pillar slightly. Um, tools, we'll start on the uh, sun visor and that's a T20 Torx, and then the other, the retaining clip just twists and come out. Um, this handle, there's uh, two slots on each side. You just need to pull forward evenly, and that'll come out on both sides. And then this panel will just pull slightly back to remove it. Same with the uh, A pillar. So again, with the talking, I apologize. We'll get to work now. All right, so moving on, we got um, our headliner kind of freed up enough to where we can access um, these nuts underneath. So it's a 12 millimeter on the bottom and the top. Um, so I just have a socket here with a small extension. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on the front one and I'll kind of put the impact up here so it's ready for me. And then uh, just peel this back a little bit, give you enough room for that socket and you'll be able to hold the nut on the inside. And we'll do the front first one, then move to the second one. So the next step, we need to remove um, this handle in the back seat and pull this um, trim piece out just a little bit and that'll give us access to the back set of nuts. So we'll go ahead and get this one out. Okay, so we just got the passenger side done. Um, process is gonna be the exact same on the driver's side. So we'll jump over there and get that done. All right, so our next step is we need to drill out the furthest back hole on each side. Um, it's just not big enough for our plus nuts to go in. So we're gonna use a 3 8 drill bit to drill that out. Um, be extremely careful drilling into this. Um, Maybe use a drill bit stop if needed, but yeah, just use the drill bit deep enough just to puncture that hole and then pull it out right away. So let's drill that out now.
All right, so we got everything drilled out, um, those two holes in the back. So now I've got the side rail here because there are some holes that we won't be using. I'm gonna mark those holes that we're not using. So kind of align the side rail up where it's gonna go and you'll see because the holes will line up and the holes that don't, I'm just gonna mark them with an X so we know we gotta seal those up. And to seal those up, there's many different techniques. I have some kind of silicone tape here that we're gonna put down and then silicone on top so we have two layers of sealant. Um, but we've seen some people put plugs in there and silicone around them, that's fine too. Um, so that's kind of your discretion, just make sure you seal those up good so you don't have any water issues on your headliner. So we'll go ahead and X out these holes. Okay, so we got our unused holes sealed up. Um, the next step um, is compressing these plus nuts in the holes that we're gonna use. So um, real quick, this process, I'm gonna put a little bit of silicone on the inside edge so that when we insert it in the hole, it, it'll be sealed. Um, but basically we're using a half inch wrench to hold the coupler and turning the top using a 7 16 ratchet. So in your hardware kit, there's gonna be one bolt that's slightly longer than the other ones. This is the bolt that you wanna use to compress them. Um, also with a washer in there. So that's the setup and we'll go ahead and drop these in and get them compressed. Hex coupler. I'd like to know. All right, so we got all our plus stunts compressed on this side, and we're gonna repeat the exact same process for the driver's side. We'll go jump on it. All right, so now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna prep all our hardware, put all our washers on our T30 uh, Torx bolts, put a little bit of Loctite on the end, we're gonna kind of lay it all out as it goes and I'm gonna start assembling the crossbars to the side rails. I'm gonna leave out the crossbars that are right by a mounting foot just so we have access um, to get to our mounting bolts when we're on the roof. But we'll go ahead and get all the other crossbars um, assembled and tightened right now. So our next step is we're gonna get the wind deflector assembled. And what we need to do for that is take the aluminum colored crossbar and these T-nuts, insert them into the channel and uh, on both sides, make sure you use the threaded side facing up and then we'll place this on, get it all lined up and use our Phillips head um, bolts with some Loctite to secure it down. So we'll go ahead and get that going. So as you can see, we got our rack up here, um, just kind of sitting in place. Um, we staged our spacers out. And just a quick note, um, four of these spacers are gonna be a tad bit longer. And you need to make sure you put two on this side in the middle and two on that side in the center, just because of the way the roof is. Um, so we're gonna apply some um, black automotive RTV silicone to the bottom of these put them in place and start our bolts. We don't want to tighten them yet. We want everything kind of loose so we can adjust it on the vehicle and get it sitting where we want. And then we'll tighten it down. But for now, we'll go ahead and silicone these and get them started in place.
All right, so we're done up here. We got the roof rack um, tightened down, everything siliconed up, sealed good. Um, next step is we're gonna jump in the car and start putting back our uh, headliner and all our trim pieces. We'll get in there. All right, so just a quick pro tip when putting these handles back on, it's a lot easier to squeeze these tabs together um, take them out and put them on the handle um, first. That way you're just pushing it straight in um, when you go to install it. So there's one side and then we'll remove this one. Slide it onto the handle. Make sure to squeeze those tabs so it clicks into place and um, slide it right on in. All right, everybody, that sums up our install tutorial on this RAV4, the Prince Hugh roof rack. I mean, just look at it. It looks amazing. This RAV is ready for adventure. Thanks for watching, you guys. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Thanks.